Okay, welcome back guys, this is our last one, this is step 2, uh, part D, this is how to get the um, fire staff, uh, oh, sorry, this is how to basic and fire challenges for the fire staff, uh, so you only want to require killing, uh, you need to be these 4 cauldrons in the elemental plane, and you need to kill enough zombies to sort of fill all 4 cauldrons, there will be a sound to show you that you've completed it, and after that you can get out and go to do the higher challenge. I told you I was speaking uh, low, but it's late at night and the parents are going to bed, so I have to keep it down. <laughs> so, um, thanks for being alive, Jeffrey. But you're dead now. Oh. Jeffrey died anyway. You can see Jeffrey killing for me. So, um, I will see you when all these cauldrons are filled. Oh, you have to kill them with a fire staff as well, not just any normal weapon. Let fire consume your fetid flesh. So that is done now. So now we can get out. It comes to five what we're going to get out here. Now uh, let's go to the track for the higher challenges. So I will see you So for the um, highest step, for the higher challenges of the first half, we need to go to the church. These symbols look at these symbols look at the walls. And um, from left to right. They stand for 11, 5, 9, 7, 6, 3, and 4. The ones that are lit up are you need to use. This one will always be lit up. This is the blood one. This is the bloody torch. So the numbers that are lit up at the moment are 11, 9, So we need to put in any order, 11, 9, 6, and blood. We should try this. Try this. And you're going to be moving on. That means you can fall into the lower pack of bunch. So I was going to fall pack of bunch. So once you're down here, simply line 
and Lord of the Rings again, so that they are all red. She will not say anything, and that will lead us to what I call step three. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like everything that's coming out of the channel. So again, thank you very much. I'll see you for step three.